hi everyone okay this is what we have to solve 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x divided by 2 equals 24 okay the first step cross multiply so that 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x will be alone and at the same time equal to 2 times 24 gives 48 now we can add these two terms here to get 2 of 4 to the power of x and it's equal to 48 so if i want to go ahead i can simply divide this by 2 and divide this by 2 so that this goes with this then we have 4 to the power of x to be equal to 24. Now to go ahead, I'm going to break 24 down to see if it can exist in this form. But it cannot because 24 is only 4 multiplied by 6. So it cannot just be like this. So we'll take the log of both sides at this point and we will have log of 4 to the power of x equals log of 4 multiplied by 6. Okay, so from here, now this is multiplication. And uh, if you have log a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. So I will now express this in this form so that log 4 to the power of x will be equal to log 4 plus log 6. And again, if you have this, if this x remains the power, we will not be able to find the value of x. So we have to bring it behind and it multiplies log 4. So this goes behind here, we'll now have x, we'll have log 4, it's no longer there, and it's equal to log 4 plus log 6. Now the next thing is, since we are looking for the value of x, we are going to divide both sides by log 4. The whole of this will be divided by log of 4. Now this takes this away so that x becomes the subject and it's equal to from here we can split what we have here. Remember we divided both sides by log 4 before. So now we have log 4 over log 4 plus we have log 6 over log 4. If you get the LCM of this, it will take you back up there, right? So now we go ahead, our x is now, this goes there, so we have um, 1. Some learners will say log 4 divided by log 4 is 0, but that is not correct. It's going to be 1, then plus, we have log 6 over log 4. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so this is what we have. And now we want to apply change of base to this. So imagine you have um, log x to base y, right? And you have log, log k to base y. Now both of them have the same base, so you can now combine them and have log x to the base of k. Okay, so the y has been eliminated, we have changed the base from y to k. This k here becomes the base to x, and that's what we are going to do to this. So our x will now be 1 plus log 6 to the base of 4. 
So this right here is the value of x. And um, you know what we always do? If you're not new here, we always verify our result because we believe that from the verification processes, we still have a lot to learn. Now, the equation was 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x over 2 equals 24, if you can recall. And we said the first thing is to cross multiply. So 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x will just give us 48. And now in place of x, I will put this value. And that means that we'll have 4 to the power of 1 plus log 6 to base 4. Remember, the whole of this is the power, then plus 4 again to the same power, log 6 to base 4. The whole of this, another power. So as we go ahead now, we are going to have 4 to the power of 1, 4 to the power of 1, multiplying 4 to the power of log 6 to base 4. Okay, so the whole of this now is the power to this 4. So I will have this same thing here. And if you want to know how this is possible, if you pick one of the bases now, you're going to have 4 here. And using one of the laws of indices, if you're multiplying the same base, you will add their powers. So if you add this and this, you'll get this one back. Then plus, we'll have the same thing here. 4 to the power of 1 multiplied by 4 to the power of log 6 to the base of 4. Now, will this give us 48? Since we are looking for 48 on the right, let's keep trying. Now, the next step is this. Do you know that if you have um, if you have a to the power of log b to base a, this is the same thing as b, a to the power of log b to base a, because we have log to base a and a here, b is the result. So from here, we'll apply this. 4 to the power of 1 is 4, then multiply by 4 to the power of log 6, to base 4 is 6, base 4, base 4. So they will just nullify each other and we have just 6. Plus, the same thing happens there. 4 to power 1 is 4, then multiply by 6, right? So if we go ahead now, 4 times 6 is 24. 24 plus 24 will now give 48. So this is to confirm that x to be equal to 1 plus log 6 to base 4 satisfies the equation. If you love this, subscribe and comment.